Hey, Thrond here, and I'm here at Alice Folk uh, in Egan, Minnesota. I have arrived, and uh, we'll see if I can switch this camera around. All right, uh, hopefully everyone can see this. It's on my new cell phone. Uh, and uh, this is the sign to Alice Folk uh, Viking Martial Arts. It's a HEMA school that specializes in Viking Age martial, martial arts. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and walk on in for the first time. Hopefully this is going up and everybody can see it. Sorry about the poor quality of the video. Uh, we're gonna have some really nice videos uh, set up. Uh, this is the place, they're still working on it. It's under construction. Uh, Herstook was here last week for Easter weekend, our Astara. Uh, we've got our shields over here, uh, the Skjaldr, uh that uh, Arthur von Eschen is working on and he's doing them historically accurate. These are to a T. We plan on testing these out uh, and we're going to give it uh, a good testing and see how they work. These are the very, he's got the very thin one uh, that's uh, anywhere from a quarter to a sixteenth of an inch at the edge. We believe they might have been used to trap weapons. Nice Yalmer there. Uh, we're going through here. Uh, Roland's right up ahead. Hope you all can see me. I see probably people talking to me. I am on a cell phone, so it's very difficult for me to... Uh, answer you. I would. I will try to answer you after I get done filming this. I don't know how long it's going to last. We're going to go get something to eat. I just arrived. It's a long flight. Uh, here we go. This is Roland. Hey guys. How you doing? <laughs> and uh, they've got a construction here they're working on. They're going to be carrying yeah, it out back. Taking, I should probably help them. Yeah, we're taking down some of the Viking tents, which are going to be for the event tomorrow. And uh, they have just been stored here. But uh, we will need all that space for the training because that's the actual training hall. Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Very nice. And we've got people commenting right now, so it is live. And I don't know how to answer them, so I need to apologize to them for that. Uh, I require too much longer. That is one of the instructors here at the school. Well, we can have a look at the windows. People like to see what it's now we'll look at it while we're over dinner and we'll answer any questions you all have and uh, hopefully I'll have some more live videos this weekend and of course we're going to have our test videos where they'll probably be edited out and released after we're, after the weekend so it'll be done correctly. Very beautiful uh, establishment, building for a uh, school. That's uh, Arthur von Eschen uh, in the back. And uh, I'm assuming uh, there's not a lot going on. Oh, sure. Uh, Roland wants to show me weapons. Uh, I'm not going to refuse. So I don't know if you have uh, sufficient light here, but uh, is this like a nice playground where you have all these trains flying around? This is, uh, this is one of the swords that. Uh, uh, awesome made. Oh, oh, very nice. It looks like a short child sword to me. <laughs> a very lightweight sword. Like he likes some light. What can we say? Light this responses. Is really cool. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And super sharp. That's probably one of those that we're going to use to chop up the shields on Sunday. Oh, that would be a nice look to use. I'm curious how well they hold up. And I, plus, I brought mail if we'd like to try it, and I can set something up with it. Uh, I know you want to try to thrust through it. This is a really cool cup of here. Oh, it looks very nice. And this is also a sharp sword. Oh, and we'll be you. doing some more for sharps tomorrow as well. Yeah, let me show you my, uh, my favorite training sword. Oh, you brought it? <laughs> Did you just carry it on, on board in the luggage? Not on board. Um, oh, well, yeah, but it is. <laughs> So this is um, this is my favorite Viking training sword. Do you have a name? Um, well, to tell you the truth, I do, but it's an old Norse name, and it's been so long since I talked to my sword, I have to go back and look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife just laughed at me, said like, "Oh no." You I, I'm sure you're the enemies you dispatched. Remember, the swords they have proper German names, so I can recall all these. <laughs> yeah, Very like beautiful. This a lot. Can you hold it and film at the same time? I can try. Does that have an edge on it? Uh, this is a blunt one. A blunt. A nice hilt. I love it, and it's yeah. well balanced. 
Yeah, and it's super light. I mean, it, uh, it's pretty top heavy, um, but the uh, overall weight is like 800 grams. I don't know how that uh, um, converts to pounds, but uh, maybe some of your viewers can do that. And it's got a historically it's accurate handle. It's actually yes, right. exactly. And this is um, these are um, the fittings. Um, they are from uh, Russian finds. Ooh. And um, what is also interesting is it's actually hollow, right? Because brass or bronze is heavier than um, than, than steel. And um, a lot of the original fittings on not only on Viking swords but also on uh, medieval swords they're actually hollow. A lot of people don't know that. So the 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 the, the idea that the um, that the pommel uh, something heavy is, is, not true. is supposed to be counterweight that's only part of the truth. Like the, the, the design of the pommel, that is what is uh, important. There's, um, when I was at the Viking um, exhibition in Berlin um, a couple of years ago, um, they had a really nice find of a uh, 11th century sword. And that sword um, had a Brazil nut pommel. And um, part of it was rusted through, so you could actually look into the pommel and see how it was peened. So that was uh, quite amazing to look into a hollow pommel because there was this uh, corroded um, part which had created a hole. Yeah, so I'm looking forward Very to doing some fencing with you tomorrow then. Oh, most certainly I am as well. And now I'll give the guys a hint. There's yeah. author Von Eschen. I'm going live on YouTube, so if you didn't know what we were doing, we were talking to them, showing off your uh, uh, beautiful establishment, <laughs> oh, <laughs> your training you. school. It's awesome. Thanks very much. It looks very much like an old Langen house. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going for. You know, I've done so much work with uh, living history museums and, and things in Europe, and I just wanted to bring that feeling here. I really wanted to. I think you've train. most certainly done that. We've definitely got that type of environment. I mean, Thank I walked you. in, it's the first thing I thought from the outside, it, it doesn't do justice to the <laughs> interior. Yes. It's funny, a lot of people last weekend, they were driving around trying to figure out where. It could possibly be because they had seen some inside pictures and of course it just looks like a white warehouse from the outside <laughs> yeah absolutely well uh we can swing by too like when we leave the one place let's swing by and check uh best buy oh yeah for the uh yeah 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 i'm doing this on my cell phone uh guys uh it's my new cell phone so hopefully you're getting a really good view here uh, I'm going to have my other cameras operating, but I didn't bring enough SD cards to record everything this weekend. So that's what he's talking about going and picking up SD cards. Uh, the Skjaldr on the wall are beautiful. Uh, he has some really nice historically accurate ones. Uh, Roland even carved a handle out because he got here before me uh, from an actual find that he likes to use. So we're going to try employing that uh, design and see how that works out. And uh, I guess for now, uh, we've pretty much done everything we can do here because we're preparing for the weekend. Uh, so I bid you farewell for that.